Hey guys, Sarah here from Work Life Glue, and today is time for another Daycare Day video, and today I'm gonna to be talking about meal planning. Instead of like a how-to or that kind of video, I thought I would just kind of share what I do, and then you guys can share what you do in the comments, because I'm no expert on this. Um, this is just what's working for me and what has worked for me. And I just thought it'd be fun to give some little tips and then you guys can share what you do in the comments because meal planning is a huge part of any daycare if you serve food. Um, I personally serve breakfast, lunch, and a, a afternoon snack. So that's 15 times I'm feeding the kids every week and a lot of thought goes into that. Now I'm no longer on the food program I used to be. Um, but I am no longer just for, I just personally for me didn't think it was worth the money, all the stress of not really even the planning, but just the stress that they could come in at any time because I'm following all the rules, but then there'd be like somebody's birthday and we were serving a brownie for snack and I didn't want to serve like two other things on top of that because it's already enough sugar and food and then there would be t you know and just when they would come it would be very stressful and like throw our whole day off I just it's not their fault it just when it's unannounced you're not planning for it especially when it's in the morning and I have preschool buses coming it just throws everything off and um, I was on the lower tier so it just didn't seem totally worth it for me personally but anyway um, I'm still serving pretty much the same stuff I was I just um, you know, I can be a little bit more flexible. I can serve two vegetables or two fruits or not have a grain or whatever for the meals, but for the most part, I follow the same thing. Um, so what I do when it comes to meal planning, I, this past year, 2017, I just have a calendar that I got from the Dollar Tree, a um, little calendar like this. And as you can see, um, if I go back to a different month, like I just split the week in half um, the days in half and I write what I'm serving for lunch on the top and then what we're having for supper on the bottom and I try to kind of sometimes carry those over like we might make a lot of beef for something one night and so we'll use it the next day so I usually draw an arrow like here I have spaghetti and we'll just make extra and then I'll serve it for lunch the next day um, and things like that so I can try to like not waste food and make life a little easier on myself um, and I plan the whole month at a monthly basis. And sometimes I go even further because I absolutely hate doing meal planning. So I try to just knock out as much as I can as rarely as possible. I can't think of the word I'm thinking of. Um, but anyway, that's what I do. For next year, I'm going to be using, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just a little bit bigger. This was actually like kind of like a desk um, sized calendar. But I cut a part of it off that was like a note section. And I wrote meal plan. We also have one we're using for a family calendar. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just cut it in half and make my meals. And what I'm thinking of doing in the new year, um, if I have the time, is doing a rotating meal plan. Maybe four weeks, maybe six weeks or something like that. Where I serve the same meals every six weeks. Including dinners I could do. Um, and then making the grocery list that goes along with each week. I think that would save me so much time in the long run because I hate meal planning, I hate making grocery lists, and so I think that would really help. Um, I'd love to know what you guys do when it comes to planning, like do you use a calendar, where do you write it, do you have a rotating schedule? Um, so I'm just gonna start, what I normally do when I'm planning out a new month is I just look back at old months to get ideas and go from there. So I'm just gonna start planning, kinda take you guys along. Something else I do is I do some kind of pizza every Friday just to make my life easier and it's just a fun thing that kids look forward to. So I do like where I buy an Aldi crust and I put different toppings on or we'll do like a bagel pizza or a toast pizza or pizza roll ups or whatever. So that makes it so that I only have to really plan um, four days of the week. And I, I normally only really write the entree down. I just kind of wing the fruits and veggies depending on what I buy every week but I just write the entree down. So I'm just gonna go through and do, um, we'll probably do just pizza, regular pizza, and then bagel pizza. Oops, that's the same day. Bagel pizza, and then pizza roll-ups. And then I, yeah, 
yeah, like I said, I just go back and kind of, I was trying to do like an egg thing every Monday and stuff like that, so I might kind of try that this time again. And then I kind of just start filling in and I try to not like repeat um, certain things. Like if I have egg cheese sandwich, I try not to have another sandwich that week um, or I space it out that kind of thing or like if I had like a roast I'm not gonna have a roast the next day with things like spaghetti or things that like I know we often will eat for supper if I write it for lunch I just write it the day before for dinner so that I know to make it and make extra meat so that I can use it the next day I might do like a pasta Tuesday so like I'll do ravioli and do like buttered noodles, chicken, another pasta, mac and cheese. I can make that the night before too. Since I'm doing chicken here, I try to make extra, so I'll do buttered noodles with chicken here, and then I'll do like chicken and cheese crescent rolls here. For holidays, I often just do grilled cheese and then I cut it out with a cookie cutter in a certain shape, like a tree or a snowman or whatever for Christmas. Um, so that's what I'm going to do for our party, it just makes it really easy. Okay, so I just planned a whole month. Um, I'll go back in and do dinners, but um, for daycare at least, I have some dinners written down, but the rest will be um, different. But we tend to do leftovers on like Tuesday and Thursday and then make food or do like a crock pot meal on Monday, Wednesday, and then we typically do pizza as a family on Fridays. Um, but that was pretty painless. <laughs> So yeah, that's all I do guys. Just some egg cheese sandwich, spaghetti, pig in a blanket, bean and cheese quesadilla, pizza, eggs and toast, ravioli, homemade Lunchables, tater tot hot dish, bagel pizza, French toast, butter noodles with chicken, peanut butter sandwich, chicken and cheese crescent rolls, pizza roll ups, hard boiled eggs and toast, mac and cheese, corn dog muffin, grilled cheese for Christmas. And that's my meals for four weeks. Then to make my life easier for breakfast and snacks, I try to kind of plan them out by day um, and just repeat that every week because, I don't know, we don't really, the kids don't really care if we repeat breakfast and there's only so many things you can do and I'm often like trying to make it really quick. Um, this year, um, as I reopen, I will be doing things a little bit differently. I have preschool bus that comes every morning, Monday through Thursday and it comes so in such different times every day that I'm gonna just give the kids going to preschool like a granola bar or cereal so that they can have something but then they have a morning snack there which we don't at daycare so they're gonna get something smaller and a lot of them eat at home too and their parents all know this is happening so they're gonna get something smaller while they wait for the bus and then that'll give me time to actually make something because before I was scrambling and like nobody had any time to eat, so now preschoolers will still get time to eat, but it'll be easy things I can just kind of hand them. And then I will make like, you know, a hot meal for the other kids. And that will allow me time to make eggs a couple mornings a week, which I just did not have time for before. And I might even branch out later, but this is just what I have planned for now. So. Monday with bagels, Tuesday waffles, Wednesday cheesy eggs and toast, Thursday English muffin, and Friday eggs and pancakes. And I always do fruit with these as well. Um, that's just what I do, so and that just depends. And then for snacks, I try to do kind of like a two week um, rotating meal plan for these. And I switch it up. I mean, I feel free to just like grab stuff out of the fridge or out of the pantry, but this way at least I know what to shop for. I will just quickly plan this. Uh, 
Okay, so for the sake of not remembering a lot of the snacks I normally serve, Mondays, rice cakes and peanut butter, and sometimes I put like apples or raisins on those as well. And they're fun to decorate too if you ever have like a theme or you could just make a face or whatever. Tuesdays, fruit and graham cracker. Wednesday, cheese and crackers. Thursdays, some kind of veggie and dip, whether that be my like ranch veggie dip that I really like that's all natural or hummus or whatever. Um, well, that's another one, pretzels and hummus I like to do. But anyway, Friday, fruit and dip, like peanut butter or honey or something like that. Um, Monday, the following week will be peanut butter roll up. Just microwave it and it's you know, like a tortilla with peanut butter and sometimes I put honey on there. Um, Tuesday, fruit and yogurt. Wednesday, animal crackers and string cheese. Thursday, veggies and dip again. And then Friday, applesauce and graham cracker. And so that's what I'll do for the two four weeks I'll just repeat that so very simple so guys I hope you enjoy coming along this meal planning journey with me let me know what you guys do also let me know if there's other like meal related videos you would like me to do I'm thinking of doing like a grocery shopping one because that's a whole other topic we do that bi-weekly we try to go grocery shopping and then we buy like produce weekly so it stays fresh but let me know um, and I would love to know what you guys do for meal planning um, there's so many other things I could talk about on this topic, so just keep the conversation going and then I can always film more videos based off of what you guys say. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye guys.